Welcome everybody. Pleasant good day to all. We got a beautiful question. Now uh, let me draw the semicircle. It's fine. Now uh, I want to get the diameter. So I'm going to name it as A B. The center this is center and then it is O. Now uh, we got a square. So let me take this point, this point. Okay. Now I'm going to name it a C D. E F we are expected to find the area of this region. This entire length is given to be as root of five. So this is a square, so this is going to be making ninety degree. Now foremost what I wish to do is I would like to calculate the radius of the semicircle. So how do I do that? I'm going to draw a line here. So from the center to the circle, that is the radius. Now I know this is a square and this is going to be root of 5. Now this O is the center point. OC is equal to OD which is equal to root of 5 divided by 2. So this is going to be root of 5 divided by 2. Now let me consider the triangle O D E. I can use Pythagoras because it's a right triangle. So you can state it since the triangle is a right triangle, right angled triangle by Pythagoras, we know that. What do we know? O D squared plus DE squared is equal to OE squared. We need OE squared. OD squared is root of 5 over 2 raised to the power of 2. DE is root of 5 raised to the power of 2. This is OE squared. I'm writing OE on this side. So OE squared is equal to 5. Root of, uh, root of 5 raised to the power of 2 will give you 5. Root of 5 over 2 raised to the power of 2 would give you 5 divided by 4. I can take the LCM as 4, so this is 20, positive 5 is 25 divided by 4. This is OE squared, so therefore OE is equal to root of 25 over 4, which is 5 over 2. So this is the radius, okay? So this is going to be my R. Okay, fair enough. Now this is 90. I'm going to take this angle as theta because I want to know this angle the sector's angle so now to find the angle of the sector so which sector am I talking about I am talking about O E B the sector so I want to know this angle for that I need to know theta now what I wish to do is I would like to take sine theta, so opposite side. Sine theta is opposite side divided by hypotenuse. So what is my opposite side? Root of 5 divided by 2. My hypotenuse is 5 over 2. So 5 over 2. You flip it, you get root of 5 over 2 multiplied with 2 over 5. 2, 2 gets cancelled. This is root of 5 divided by 5. Okay, we keep it as it is. So this is my sine theta. Now what we need to do is we need to get theta. So theta is equal to sine inverse of root of 5 over 5. Now I need to get my calculator. Now let's calculate square root of 5. Root of 5. This is divided by 5. So that is approximately 0. 0.4 I'm going to take it as 0 
Okay, 7 is there. I'm moving off. So 0 0.45. Now I need sine inverse of 0 0.45. This is my theta. I would be only using approximate values. Okay. So let me let me apply shift sine inverse 0 0.45. This is giving me 26 degrees. I would be just taking the value to be as 26 degrees okay so theta is 26 degrees and this is 90 degrees so if I were to take this as alpha so therefore alpha is equal to 90 plus 26 which is equal to 116 right 90 plus 26 is equal to 116 and this is exactly not alpha but we are going to get alpha so alpha is going to be 180 degrees minus this value so this is equal to 180 degrees minus 116 so let me not write this over here so from 180 you subtract 116 so what do i get i get alpha to be equal to 64 okay fair enough now I've got the value for alpha. Now I need this region, right? So I will calculate the area of this sector. Then I will know the area of this sector. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line. Okay, now in this particular case, what am I going to do? I'm going to find this area. If I were to find this area, I would know this area. And then what I'll have to do is I'll have to find the area of this triangle. So from the area of the square, I need to take away this, 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 and then eventually I will get this. So this is a beautiful question. So first let me calculate the area of the sector. So area of sector is equal to theta divided by 360 multiplied with pi r squared. What is my r? If you see here, uh, I have got my R as 5 over 2. So, 5 over 2 raised to the power of 2. Now, theta is 64. This is 36, 360 degree times pi. I'm going to write 5 squared as 5 into 5 divided by 2 squared is 4. Right? Now, I take 4. 4 divides here 1 time, 24, 16 times. Now, 4 divides here 4 times, 4 divides here 9 times, so 90 times. So, this has got, let me rewrite it here, 4 multiplied with pi, multiplied with 5, multiplied with 5, divided by 90. Now, let me use uh, 5 here. Now, 5 divides here 1 time, I got a 4, 40, 5 eighths are 40. And then, I can utilize... 2 here, 2 divides here 9 times, 2 divides here 2 times. So, what do I have here? 2 times 5, 10, 10 pi divided by 9 square units. Okay, so this is one part. There are two sectors. So, you got a sector here, you got a sector here. So, you can write the total sector. So, total sector area is equal to 2 multiplied with 10 pi divided by 9 which is equal to 20 pi divided by 9 square units okay that is for the total sector area now let me go to the triangle so I need to find the height of the triangle okay so I got a new picture here so what I'm going to do I'm going to drop a perpendicular from this point now that would divide divide the triangle into two equal parts because this side and this side are one and the same so it's an isosceles so this is going to be root of 5 over 2 I need to get the height so how am I going to get the height if I were to take this as some p o p squared plus p e squared is equal to o e squared now o e is the radius we got the radius value 5 over 2 so substitute that 5 over 2 raised to the power of 2 pe 
is root of 5 over 2 raised to the power of 2. OP is what I'm looking. I'm looking for the height. I'm going to take it as h squared. So this is equal to h squared root of 5 over 2 squared. That's going to be 5 over 4 is equal to 25 over 4. Push this to the other side. That's going to be 25 over 4, negative 5 over 4, which is 20 over 4. 4 divides here 5 times. So h squared is equal to 5. Therefore, the height is equal to root of 5. Okay, I need not have to calculate this. But just in case, instead of a triangle, or I should say, instead of a, a square, if we would have got something else, then we would have to calculate the height if it is a rectangle. Even in the case of a rectangle, if we had known these two, right, definitely one side would have been given, so we would have known it. But anyway, as a part of the process. I have placed that. So h is equal to root of 5. Now I've got the height. I want to know the area of the triangle. So let me give the area. So area is equal to half into base times height. So what is the base of this particular triangle? Base is root of 5 over 2. Root of 5 over 2 multiplied with height. Height I've got it as 5. So five root of 5 into 5 gives me 5. 2 times 2 is 4. This is the area of the triangle, square units. So, now I need to calculate the area of the semicircle. So, what is the area of the semicircle? Area of the circle is pi r squared, but I am talking about the semicircle, so divided by 2. So, this is equal to pi, the radius is found to be as 5 over 2. So, pi over 2 times 5 over 2 times 5 over 2. So, this is equal to 25 pi 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 is 8 so this is the area of the semicircle so therefore required area so from the area of the semicircle we have to subtract the area of the sector the two sectors are there I have found it I have found out the value as 20 pi over 9 20 pi over 9 plus area of the triangle the area of the triangle is actually there is one thing we got to know now what I have done is I have only found out the area of this part of the triangle right so that would be in the total area if I were to get the total area I have to multiply this by 2 right so the total area let me write this down the total area is equal to 2 times of this which is nothing but 5 over 2 square units is it not I have just taken one part of the area but there is other part two parts are there so I need to get that part also so for that I am multiplying by 2 which is going to be 5 over 2 so this is going to be 5 over 2 that I have got so now we need to simplify so I am going to take this as 25 pi over 8 negative 20 pi over 9 negative 5 over 2 so you can club these two together so I can take the pi out I can take LCM as 8 and 9 so this would be 9 times 25 9 fives are 45 4 9 twos are 18 19 20 21 22 22 minus 160 negative 5 over 2 so 2 to 5 160 5 carry 1 a 12 there and a 6 so this is going to give me 65 so this is equal to 65 pi divided by 8 times 9 is uh, 72 negative 5 over 2 now what we can do is we can get an approximate value now what I will do is I will take the value of pi to be approximately 3.14 so, a lot of approximations are required here. 65 divided by 72. So, I get this. I'm going to multiply that by 3.14. And I get this. So, this is 2.83835. From that, I will have to subtract 5 divided by 2. It's 2.5. So, that's 2.5. So, 
minus 2.5 what is that that is going to give me approximate value of 0 0.335 square units okay so this is a, a beautiful a beautiful question right because we have to extract the sector area then the in fact we have to first find the radius and then the sector area then calculate the other sector area then go to the triangle get the triangle and then from there find the area of the semicircle from the area of the semicircle deduct the area of the sectors and the area of the triangle so that would give us this value 0 0.335 thank you everybody like share and subscribe to our channel until we meet again enjoy a day